Welcome back to more Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, everybody. So in the last episode, we finally completed the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds uh, era. And this time, finally, we're about to head over to Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexil. So now we are basically at the halfway point because we completed three and we still have three to complete. So let's see what happens. So we are going to start with Go with the Flow. So one thing I should mention is that... Well, okay, I'll read this first. Yuma Tsukumo's story begins on a day like any other at Heartland City's local middle school. It was there that he came across his friend Bronk Dueling Shark. Bronk and Dueling Shark. Okay, the school bully. Shark was a powerful duelist and a master of XC summons. Okay. Reginald. And there's Yuma, of course. Hmm. What the heck? Called you a big chicken. Oh god. And on that Sunday, Yuma kept his word and faced off against Shark. Okay, so basically they're they're wagering full decks. Wow. Feel in the flow. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that you hear a lot in this um in this particular arc. Oh god. Okay, was under the golden key necklace wearing Yuma's neck, gifted to him by his missing parents, released something that would change his life forever. Through the key, Yuma's courage released a being from an unknown realm, a being that only he could see and hear. That's Astral. Okay. <laughs> Duel. <laughs> okay. So we're about to go ahead and duel. The duel, duel. Alright, so uh, let me just mention something. Well, first of all, the field is quite different in terms of how it looks. Let me explain what Xyz monsters are. Okay, so basically, Xyz monsters were first introduced, of course, with Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Um, at the time, they were very... Um, they were by far the most broken... Or, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't say broken. They were by far the most powerful... Uh, ways in which you would be able to essentially win duels. I'm gonna kind of skip all this stuff because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to read all that stuff. I'll just explain to you all. But basically, this one's gonna be a tutorial duel, I'm pretty sure. First, we'll need some monsters and play to XC summon. So, set Desk Koala in defense position. Okay. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and set XC's Reborn. And end the turn. Yeah, so... I'll just tell you right now, I don't know much about the anime of Zexel that much. Um, but as far as Xyz monsters, I know them a lot more than uh, Pendulum and Link monsters, that's for sure. I haven't really spent too much time looking at Link monsters and, and Pendulum monsters. I actually know the least of. So, he's already going to go ahead and do an XC summon into number 17 Leviathan Dragon. So, some of the Xyz monsters are actually numbered cards. And essentially the way it works is that uh, when it comes to Xyz monsters, the materials get placed underneath the Xyz monsters, so that means that the cards don't actually go into the graveyard right away, like a Synchro Summon would make you do. Okay, so Death Koala activates, you lose 800. There we go. Alright, so that was quite the first turn right there, and it was a little ridiculous, but... Oh, and there's a Gravity Bind. Oh man, things are not looking good. I let's use Crank Crank to summon Death Squall back from the graveyard. So basically this card says when this card is almost summoned, you can target one level 3 monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target, but it has its effects negated. You can only use it once per turn. So I'm going to summon that. Activate the effect. Bring Death Koala into the graveyard. Um, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Attack or defense. So they're both the same level. Uh, basically... Xyz monsters can only be summoned when you have two or more monsters with the same level. Uh, so these are both level 3. This thing here was also two level 3 monsters. And the effect says, once per turn you can detach one Xyz material from this card. This card gains 500 attack. If this card has no Xyz materials, it cannot attack your opponent directly. Okay. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked, banish it. And then that thing is Water Hazard, lets you special summon... Uh, monsters and then Umiruka plus 500, so that's why. So this thing still has. Wait, how, how can you actually tell how many? Oh, okay. You just do that. Cool. You basically just look under to see what cards are under. 
So that is, okay, it makes sense. Anyway, let's go into Amex Saber Invoker. So this is uh, two level three monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Special summon one level four Earth Warrior or Beast. Warrior monster from your deck in defense position, but destroy it during the end phase. Honestly, it's a pretty good card. Um, any card that lets you special summon from the deck is actually just naturally a very good card. So there's X Saber, or MX Saber Invoker, my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing in attack position. It does have low attack, but one of the really interesting things that you can do here is that, okay, yeah, so you need... Okay, I'm just gonna activate effect here. I'm gonna detach one of these. It wants me to detach Desqual in this particular instance. Okay, and I can special summon one level four or lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Throw Stone Unit. Okay. All right, so then this thing says, offer one warrior type monster on your side of the field as a tribute to destroy one face up monster on the field whose defense is equal to or lower than the attack of this card. Luckily, this thing has zero defense. So if I use the effect and trip, wait, why would I offer one warrior type monster instead of as a tribute to destroy one face up? Um, why wouldn't I want to destroy? Can you not choose itself? I guess not. I guess not. Oh my god. Anyway. I'm gonna destroy your monster. And then they both get sent to the graveyard. Meaning all materials. Target one Xyz monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and if you do, attach this card to it as an Xyz material. Alright. Hexsaber Invoker is back. With one... Material. Now let's summon another level 4 monster with MX Saber Invoker. So, because the card left the field, uh, the once per turn clause is not a hard once per turn, which means I can use it again. There's a reason why things are different between a soft once per turn or a hard once per turn. So, I'm going to send this to the graveyard to special summon a Goblin Deburr. Okay, and now that I have two fours, I can actually go here and bring out number 39 Utopia. You just need uh, two level 4 monsters. And this is going to make Utopia. It's probably going to have an animation, I'm guessing. Let's see. Uh, yep, I knew it. Usually the um, iconic slash ace monsters of protagonists have these effects, or have these animations. Okay. Now I can special summon this. Uh, because it says you can special summon this card by tributing one war attack monster, and if you do, it gains attack equal to the tributed monster's original attack. It wants me to get rid of Utopia, interestingly enough. Okay. So that's 12 plus 25, that's a 3700 attacker. Damn. Now, I can go ahead and do Monster Reborn, and I can select number 39 Utopia. Now that's some crazy shit right here, and of course Utopia's effect, act or not effect, animation act activates again. So Utopia's, um, oh, and it wants me to do this. Equip only to a Utopia monster. When the equip monster declares an attack target, one spell or trap, your opponent controls, destroy that target. And, okay, cool. Alright, so I'm going to target this. It's not effective. Wait, so it says... Okay. Reverse Breaker activates. I can select Gravity Bind. Oh yeah, in, ca in case you don't know by the way, oh yeah, I, I should clarify this. Um, Xyz monsters don't have levels. I don't know if you all knew that. They have ranks. I mean, I'm sure most of you already know that. So cards that say this, level four or higher monsters cannot attack, don't actually work on Xyz monsters, because this, is, this thing doesn't have a level. Which is why both of these could actually bypass. It's important to know that kind of stuff, because more often than not, um, it's going to cost you duels if you misplay. Like that. Okay. I must collect all 100 number cards. Okay. Hmm.
So that's the first duel done. Now I'm gonna head into, into the first actual duel. My God, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Yuya in so many of these. Through Astral's guidance, Yuma's dueling abilities increase. However, his new success also attracted new duelists focused on winning Yuma's number cards. One such competitor was Flip Turner, and when Flip found that Yuma had more than one number card, his focus became even clearer. Okay. Here we go. XC's Reception. Yeah, so this is where we're gonna finally start getting into a lot of crazy shit, to be honest. Um, where it might actually help a lot to go first. I'm gonna just still go second for this, but by this point in Yu-Gi-Oh, this is where it became very obvious that you want to be going first. But it was more so, I think, by pendulums around that time when that really became very prominent. That's definitely a loss. I, I don't have enough resources to be able to, even if I bring up Baby Terrigon, which I could have, Okay, attempt number seven. I'm not even kidding you. This recording is now up to one hour and 15 minutes. Um, so this is where I'm gonna, you know, I know that I talked about this in the middle of halfway through the 5Ds era, but one of the things that people are telling me is that you're okay with me just taking forever to, to do these duels. And if it gets to the point where I can't, my uploads are gonna have to slow down um, until I can, because I can't be affording to do an hour and a half recordings to get a 30 minute video up. Uh, I'm up to an hour and 15 minutes because I cannot beat this guy. I don't know how much I'm going to be showing so far of all the previous attempts. Probably little to nothing in terms of content. Um, but this is a ridiculously hard duel. Uh, mainly because he uses stall cards. Messenger of Peace, Gravity Bind, Level Limit, Area B, stuff like that. And then, after that, what he ends up doing... Actually, let's see. Uh, is that on this next end pace target, one pace of monster opponent controls, return both that target and this. That's not really gonna help. Um, I can activate one for one. But yeah, um, this is definitely up there in one of the toughest duels in the game. I've already tried it six times. So just to kind of let you know what it's about. Actually, I want to put that so I can be in the graveyard. Basically, this guy has a bunch of stall cards. Like, again, Messenger of Peace, Gravity Bind, Level Limit, Area B. He also has Level Limit, Area A, for whatever reason, but okay. And on top of that, he has a bunch of burn cards, like Stealth Bird, Death Koala, Poison Mummy, and they're also high defense monsters. Your normal monsters cannot penetrate um, his defenses. Im impossible. Um, his cards, he also has three copies of Slate Warrior, from what I noticed. Just our luck, right? Beat down monsters. Cool. Um... And if you try to attack over his monsters by using cards like Axe of Despair, he's then going to chain into probably a Gravity Bind or something to stop the attack. I can try it right now just to kind of show you in terms of what I'm talking about. Um, just watch this. I can do this. Or you can do that too. I forgot he has a Book of Moon. Usually he does Book of Moon on himself. Um, yeah, usually this Book of Moon on himself, um, just to get his flip effects going, like Death Koala and stuff. Um, but I guess he can do that too, because Book of Moon is a really good card. Uh, so there's this Delper that I was talking about. So what he's going to do is attack for 700 and then go into defense with Stealth Bird. You have XC's monsters, but here's the thing. A lot of them are useless because of cards like Gravity Bind and Messenger of Peace and uh, Level Limit Area B because they're stronger monsters. You have a Utopia, which is the most useless thing in this deck, I've noticed. You have a Leviathan Dragon, which is also useless because it's just an attack base. This one can be useful, but you need to have three level three monsters, which they barely give you any in this deck. So you basically have to draw your only level threes, one of them being a Zubaba Knight. Um, and then you have three of these baby Tyragons or whatever you call them. Those can target level one monsters to attack directly once per turn, but they're not safe if like in this current situation because they're going to get destroyed as well so um i'm going to give this one more attempt here um before i end up having to lose this tool because what i can do this time is i can special summon this 
Mm -hmm. Then I can go into a Utopia. For now, Utopia is not bad because it can attack over these other monsters. But I don't believe it's going to work because he's probably going to have a gravity bind face down. Maybe. We'll have to see. I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. Can you also skip these? I don't think you can skip these animations. Um, okay, let's go for an attack. Uh, wait, when a monster declared, uh... No. Just making sure. Okay, the attack actually did work this time, which is very surprising. Um... Okay. And the turn. This is so far the best position I've been at, I'm not even kidding you, and I know it looks like I've done nothing, but this is the best position I've been in in 7 duels so far. So I might have a chance, but if, if he draws, he's probably gonna activate a Messenger of Peace, to be perfectly honest. And if he does that, I'm stuck. I'm going back to square one again. Let's see. He also has Death's Lakuda. And that lets him draw a card every single turn if you don't destroy it. Which is also a problem. Um, so that's thing gonna... This is useless. Hmm. I don't really have a choice here. I have to just keep attacking your monsters one at a time. Like I said, man, this deck is absolutely horrible. Horrible deck. And they give him a very formidable deck that is really challenging on your part. To the point where I am very lost in terms of what the hell I need to do to win. Very difficult. Very difficult. Um, Goblin de Burr. Okay, I'm going to summon. But I'm not going to use your effect. Because it's, it's going to go into defense mode and I don't want that. Okay, you... I'm going to attack that. Okay. Well. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I, I didn't really clarify this, but... Um, Gravity Bind and Level Limit Area don't work on your Xyz, but Messenger of Peace does. That's what I meant to mention. My bad. I think I totally screwed that up. But, yes. Okay, so you got a token now. Um, well, that's... okay. Let me turn. But yeah, he has three copies of Messenger of Peace. So as, as soon as he top stack it, then I'm pretty sure the duel's over, unless I can get into a... Oh my god, that's the Death's Lakuda. That is dangerous, because that gets you an extra card every turn, and it is horrible for me. Absolutely horrible. He still hasn't drawn a Messenger of Peace. This is still for my best situation here, mainly because... Of, what the... Oh yeah, this thing. I forgot about this thing. Special summon it. Okay, so I can go for that card, but I don't really think it matters. Um, how many level ones do I have here? I have a Jester Confet. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for something here. I'm gonna activate the effect. Yes, to special summon Jester. Then I'm going to... no, not that. I'm going to come over here, activate the effect of Glow a Bolt to send a card into the deck to special summon it. Also, what did I just get? Whoa, I have never had seen this card before. Once per turn, you can reveal one monster in your hand. Increase the level of this card by the level of that... I did not know that thing actually existed. Wow. Then I'm going to come over here into a baby Tyragon and basically send these three level one monsters. Also, there's a lot of sirens in the background, you can probably hear that. My bad. Alright, so there's Baby Tyragon. Uh, I'll put you right there. Okay. So, this thing basically, once per turn, you can detach one to target one level one monster you control. It can attack your opponent directly this turn, but that's essentially useless. Um, what I will do, though, is attack that. Okay. And I suppose you can attack... We should actually probably attack that. Oh my god, the sirens have not stopped, people. They have literally not stopped for the past three minutes. This is ridiculous. 
Okay. And then that's all I can do, but I can go into main phase two and bring out another one of these, right? Wait, no, I can't. These are level one. Dude. What? Three level one monsters. Why? The fuck? Oh yeah, you can't use tokens, right? Yeah, because tokens can't use mon Yeah, I, I don't... I'm pretty sure that's the case. Okay, um... And then that's about it. Yeah, so if he draws into a messenger of peace, I have no choice but to go for a... But the top deck a Heavy Storm, which there is one copy of Heavy Storm in this deck. Trust me, I know, because I've done this duel six times now. Okay. This is where I'm going to activate... Um, oh, actually, you're attacking that. Do I really care? Actually, you do that. If you if you would have attacked my Tyragon, baby Tyragon, I would have actually used the effect. I'd rather preserve the cards, because I will need them. Okay. Gagaga Magician. What's cool about this one is that you can actually change it into a lower level card, which is really neat. Um, I'm gonna activate the effect and change it to a level 3. Okay. So that's level 4. That thing is. What, should I just put these in attack mode and attack? It's an extra 200 damage, and that could actually be a little helpful in some ways, so I will go ahead and do that. I'm gonna enter battle phase now. And every monster can attack except Goblin Deburr, okay. I'm going to attack you with you. Uh, no. Okay, I take some damage. And then I'm going to attack with Utopia to this. Another Death Lakuta. Okay. Okay, finally. So again, I'm in the best situation so far. Uh, way better than any, other of this, any of the other six duels I've done so far. Also, I'm holding B... And the prompt of Utopia is still showing up. I'm holding B to cancel prompts, but the prompt is still showing up. Why? Is the game glitched? Maybe it is in this case. Alright. So luckily I have battle protection because of Utopia's effect. So I'm in a good position, unless you top deck a messenger of peace. That's when it can become a problem. Okay. That's fine. That's that's okay. Hexes were born. Alright, um... What I will do is... Activate your effect again to go into a level 3. So you can bypass Gravity Bind. I don't really have a play here, aside from just attacking this turn, so I have to just do that. Oh my god. That's it for Utopia. Damn. That is very unfortunate. Because now I don't have battle protection, and this is real bad. I mean, I got your life points low enough, so I guess that's good enough, but I have to do as much damage as possible right now, because this is not going to end well. Unfortunately, it went back to the um, extra deck, or else I could have tried to reborn it somehow, some way, but yeah, that's a little bit of a shame. Okay. Oh my god, please don't do something stupid. Please don't. God damn it. Okay, that's... Please don't be a high defend monster. If that thing is a poison mummy or a death koala or something, I am in deep trouble. I can bring out another Utopia, but see, then I lose my other resources that I kind of want. And I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. Because it's too risky. It honestly is too risky. I'm doing it. I don't know if this is a bad decision, but I'm doing it. Okay, here we go. Utopia's back. This time with 2500 attack. But if you bring another Gale Lizard, that is going to be incredibly unfortunate for me. I'm also going to go ahead and summon... Actually, no, I think I have zero attack. That thing is useless. I can still summon it, though, to try and bait you for something. Okay. Well, here we go. You have to attack to be safe. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's fine. I'll take the 500 burn damage. See what I'm talking about? Cards like Poison Mummy and shit. Okay. So I can attack with 900. 
And then I can attack with an additional 200 here with these Chewbone tokens. Do you see how bad this deck is? I'm literally attacking with tokens because I'm out of options. This is so stupid. This deck is horrendous, and I hope Yuya's deck vastly improves as soon as possible because this is going to be so bad really quickly. If all these duels are going to be taking this long, I mean, again, a lot of you said you're fine with that 30 minute duels, which is cool and all, but I'm also saying that, oh my god, this is going to be crazy. Okay, draw something good. Ooh, that actually works. Oh my god, this actually works really well. Holy crap. I got this. Wait, no, I, no, it doesn't. I don't got this because it can only target the opponent. Shit. I forgot. Never mind, it does. I was going to target Utopia to go to 2500, so it can be a level 1 2500 attacker, but I forgot it doesn't work like that. That's a little unfortunate. Alright, enter battle phase. Um, swing with you to be safe. Chew bone. Okay, well, you don't get to special summon tokens. Uh, then you can go ahead and attack. For 900. This is so dumb. The fact that I'm literally attacking with 1100 attack every damn turn. I'm telling you, this deck is awful. <laughs> I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> God damn. Okay. And go into this. Um, I'm going to change you into defense position and end a turn. Okay. Oh my god. That's level 4. With zero attack. Alright, um... Well, I can't win this turn unless I attack with my baby Tyragon, but that's, that's a risk that's way too big. I'm not willing to take that. And I chose poorly. Nice. <laughs> that's fine. I'm under the impression that that card would have changed if I attack with Tyragon into a freaking Death Koala or some crap. Probably. I don't think this duel I've actually seen a Death Koala, right? This guy literally plays it every single damn turn, like... And also Slate Warriors, too. Maybe he does have Slate Warriors, but... He also knows that... They can't attack. So if he plays Messenger of Peace, he's actually gonna lose next turn. Because he literally has 100 life points left. Okay. So the last thing I will do is activate this thing and target a token. Might as well, uh, just to be perfectly safe and not even have to deal with flipping that thing, I'm going to attack directly with 100, and that's game. Okay. That took 7 tries and I won in 23 turns. Uh, this is probably a good um, indicator of how this is going to go, the entirety of this Let's Play. Oh my god. It's kind of funny, but I'm also kind of not looking forward to that. I don't know how to explain that. I'm just going to start this here because I don't know how much I'm going to edit. After one is all becoming more and more accl acclimated to this new world. Okay. Hmm. The Sparrow. That's Tory Meadows. Alright. After truly dropped, the Sparrow might hold the key to his lost memories while Tori wanted to indulge her schoolgirl crush. Oh my god. Okay. So now I'm doing the Sparrow, I guess. What is it? Ooh, a duel. Nelson. Okay. Really? Hmm. <laughs> Freaking stupid shit. Okay, well. I'm gonna end it here, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to like it. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.